Hello everyone, coming up on News 4, California doctors hold a memorial service for baby Faye. And Oklahoma's first heart-lung transplant recipient is now suffering organ rejection. One man being treated for gunshot wounds after an attempted robbery at a local store, and we'll have this. An Oklahoma County jailer is arrested for allegedly selling dope to inmates. I'm Scott Wallace. Details coming up on News 4. We'll have these stories plus the weather and sports. All up next on News 4 Oklahoma. Stay with us. Or in Oklahoma City, it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where this child is? From Oklahoma City, Terry Cook. Dan Slocum, Dan Threlkel, Bob Berry Jr. This is News 4 Oklahoma. Good evening. News 4 has learned tonight that an Oklahoma County jailer is free on bond after being arrested. ...of Oklahomans still needing work. And Tulsa housewives who want to be paid for their work. And Hobby World's financial woes right after this. This miserable weekend weather is going to get wetter. But there's no raining on the parade at the state fairgrounds. Details of this championship competition when we return. Here's how Safeway's low prices can help. Finishing competition tonight at the World Championship Quarter Horse Show. This is the show's last day, but all week, different classes of quarter horses have competed in events like the one you're watching with the weather. No, nobody is. <laughs> Everyone's been asking me, they'll come in the weather department and say, when's it going to stop? Well, oh, I loved it. You like <laughs> the weather? I'm kidding. You're one of the few. <laughs> it was a wet day today, and guess what? Tomorrow's going to be another wet one. We're still kind of soggy out there. Right now in Oklahoma City, 39 degrees. We haven't changed much in the last couple of hours. The humidity is still at 96%. Our pressure is rising just a bit, 29, 94 right now, light rain continuing, winds from the northeast at 10 miles per hour. Let's take a look at the radar shot. Still some rain, but it's decreased in the last couple of hours. General movement is still to the east just a little bit. Some widely scattered showers just to the west now, the Oklahoma City area, and a patch of rain uh, stretching from Stevens County back almost to Ofusky County, still moving to the east and southeast. Tonight, don't look for any drastic changes, still kind of drizzly and damp conditions. Same thing goes for tomorrow morning. We'll see some gradual clearing during the afternoon hours in western Oklahoma tomorrow, but I think most of the day tomorrow will be a lot like today. It'll be a little bit cooler, too. I think temperatures will only climb up into the upper 30s and low 40s across the state, so don't look for any drastic improvement. Let's take a look at the rainfall amounts uh, from today. Rainfall amounts generally around a 2-inch or more uh, from areas from the Altus area back down just south of the Oklahoma City area, then an inch of rainfall amounts uh, uh, or less uh, just to just in the band north and south of there and gen generally around uh, an inch or less across the northern uh, we'll call it third of Oklahoma down to the southeast part of the state. Now the possibility exists tonight for some flooding in some of the low-lying areas. We haven't had any really gully washers, but because of the continued rainfall amount, because it's not going to let up any, uh, the ground is already saturated. Any additional rainfall amounts may cause some uh, flooding in parts of Oklahoma, so be advised of that if you're in an area that normally floods, just to uh, kind of keep a lookout tomorrow. Highs this afternoon warmed all the way up to 37 degrees. That was the coolest high in Ponca City, 52 degrees. The high Hot spot in Altus, 43 this afternoon in Oklahoma City, 45 degrees in Hobart, and 44 degrees in the Gage Woodward area. Tonight the winds have shifted around to the uh, uh, to the north and to the northeast just a little bit. 40 degrees right now in McAllister, and 38 degrees uh, coming in from the Tulsa area. Overnight low temperatures for tonight will dip down into the low. 30s. We may see some upper 20s in the panhandle with the uh, rain coming down. Possibility exists for some freezing rain, possibility for one or two snowflakes up in the panhandle. I think most of that heavy duty stuff, though, will be up in Kansas and up in the higher elevations of Colorado. But the possibility does exist uh, for northwestern Oklahoma for some light freezing rain for uh, tomorrow morning. Let's take a look and see what's going on right now. Area of low pressure still off to our west, pulling up lots of moisture. And because of that, the rain's going to be in the forecast for tomorrow for uh, parts of Texas, Oklahoma, up into Kansas and rain still off through Arkansas and Missouri. This system is going to make its way to the east and as it does we'll see gradual clearing but that's not going to be coming until about Tuesday. Hey, let's take a look at the satellite shot and guess what it shows? Lots of clouds across Oklahoma. Again, no big clearing area. There is a um, 
small band of clearing over parts of the Rockies, but behind that there's yet another frontal system. If we take a look at the uh, maps, we'll be able to show you that. We'll put these maps into motion. This is the cold air going to be moving in. Now that stuff is not that bad. Temperatures uh, for the next couple of days will warm up, we think, into the 50s. The heavy-duty stuff will be coming back behind this next little system, and we have it moving in, and by Thursday temperatures will drop just a little bit. So we're going to see one or two dry days, and then the next little cool surge will move in here. But by Monday, the rain should be pretty well out of the state. Five-day forecast calls for temperatures tomorrow. Well, you're not going to be able to catch up on the suntan, but temperatures will warm up to 43 degrees, rain continuing, and then Monday's looking pretty good, 44. Tuesday, even warmer at 46 degrees. Wednesday's looking pretty good, then rain back in the forecast for Thursday. Our for statistics for Oklahoma City go just like this. 39 degrees this morning, 47 the afternoon high temperature. Normals are 37 and 59 degrees, and here at the station, we had almost an inch and a half. Our forecast for tonight, cloudy and cold with scattered rain, winds shifting to the north. For tonight, or for tomorrow, cold and rain continuing. And then for the metro area tonight, rainy and cold. Tomorrow, cloudy, windy, and wet. Highs tomorrow in the 30s in the northwest, 40s in the southeast, 43 the high temperature in Oklahoma City for tomorrow after an overnight low temperature of a cold 35. A little bit cold tonight, tomorrow in the middle 40s. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. You we'll bet. be back right after this. Down in the bowl picture is getting clearer. Today, both Oklahoma and Oklahoma State won to set up an Orange Bowl showdown next week. Bob Berry Jr. is next with comments from two happy locker rooms. Excuse me, is that but That's right, maybe because this is the best football state in the country, having a, just an unbelievable year. No state in the union can brag about their college football like the state of Oklahoma. The fourth-ranked Oklahoma... This is Channel 4 in Oklahoma City. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where this child is? From Oklahoma City, Terry Cook. Dan Slocum, Dan Threlkel, Bob Berry Jr. This is News 4 Oklahoma. Hello everyone. State health and labor officials are giving the nod for classes to resume tomorrow at Putnam City High School. Classes were cut short Friday after asbestos fell from the ceiling of the school. From Oklahoma City, Linda Cavanaugh, Jane Giroux, Jim Williams, Bob Berry, this is News 4, Oklahoma. Good evening, everyone. Officials at Tinker Air Force Base are just now starting to assess the damage caused by last week's fire at the Air Logistics Center. But for about 2,500 base employees, there's one... This is World News Tonight, brought to you by Brim Decaffeinated Coffee. One ground decaffeinated coffee. City. For the first time since the 1972 Finger Plan, Oklahoma City schools will undergo reorganization. That effort 12 years ago met with great opposition because it involved the busing of students to obtain... Well, Saturday during the ball game. Of course. <laughs> and all those yeah, we, we need the rain. We're in good shape, and it's going to be kind of cold, but not all that bad for this time of year. So yeah. pretty nice weather will be forthcoming, <clears throat> we hope. It's a good problem. <laughs> Two of the news four extra threads of heritage. Photographer Tony Stiz and reporter Kevin Ogle have spent the last month getting to know the different ethnic groups in Oklahoma. Kevin's with us now. Kevin? Tonight we're going to talk about the first inhabitants of the state, Linda. Uh, they were here before the Spaniards made their trip through this region. Hundred population in Oklahoma. Mm, nice job. Thank you, Kevin. In sports, the United Press International College football poll is out. And the Sooners and Cowboys are neck and neck. Big Bob Berry Sr. is next. I sure hope. Wonderful. That's it for now. We'll see you tonight at 10. Good night. And Trailways employees accept a major pay cut, and we'll have these stories. As a natural integration process occurs in Oklahoma City neighborhoods, more schools are able to operate without busing. I'm Tara Haskins, and I'll tell you about that coming up on News 4. Anything that you can shelter is open for deception. The Internal Revenue Service is cracking down on tax fraud. I'm Kurt Autry. I'll have details coming up on News 4 at 530. 
And a look at new immigrants coming into the Sooner State on News 4 Extra, Threads of Heritage. That and more on News 4 at 5.30. Thank you, Linda. Brad is still in the corner of the Jesus House where people are still lining up for food baskets, Brad. All right, Jane. Well, the Jesus House intends to get everyone who helped make a good Thanksgiving for someone else. I'm Brad Edwards in your corner. All right, thank you, Brad. Jane, you and Linda have a nice Thanksgiving. I will Thank see you, you again until Monday. I'll be working for you and Linda while y'all are enjoying nice Thanksgiving. Uh, we, we appreciate it, Do you? definitely. All right. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you again at 10. Good night, everybody. Oklahoma City, Linda Cavanaugh, Jane Giroux, Jim Williams, Bob Berry. This is News 4 Oklahoma. Good evening, I'm Linda Cavanaugh. And I'm Jane Giroux. To register their tax shelters with the internal... This is obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. So help me God. So help me God. And importance behind the meal. And the Dallas Cowboys are hoping for a better result tomorrow than they had last Sunday. Big Bob Berry is next. In Oklahoma. Saturday's the day. We have awards coming out now. <laughs> That's all we needed were more awards for the, for the Bedlam football game. But state leaders have found a way of straddling the fence pretty well. Nice weather. Uh-huh. Nice looking turkey too. Yeah, I didn't draw that. <laughs> <laughs> well, with Saturday's football game approaching, it's getting easier. Yeah. I know. And before Saturday, though, tomorrow there are a lot of parades going on. Of course, the Macy's Day Parade on NBC tomorrow morning. Danny Cooksey from Oklahoma City area is going to be featured in that, so you might want to watch out for Danny. Good for him. We certainly will. Have a good Thanksgiving. We'll see you at 10. Good night. Morning from Oklahoma City. Here's Ben McKay, Butch McKay, the McCain brothers with News 4 Oklahoma. Good morning, Oklahoma. It's Friday, the 23rd of November. Brother Butch will have the football forecast in just a few minutes, but first, some tragic news this Thanksgiving holiday. One man is dead and five are homeless after a fire destroyed much of their apartment complex, and 20 people were showered down at a Tulsa fire station because of possible contamination from PCBs. This is News 4, Oklahoma. Early in the morning, we're the McCain brothers. I'm Ben, and this is my favorite and only brother, Brother Butch. Well, good morning to you. How are you? Well, fine. You might need to button this second button here, and you'll be, you'll be but, doing good. But, button my second button? Yeah, right here. My, my, tie, <laughs> cut, my tie was covering that up. <laughs> That's all right. Normally, you I'm need, missing one right You there. need to unbutton yours. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's the new that, thing. That's she, isn't that's it? I, the, I'm sorry. I was yeah. out of style there for just what? a second. Well, did you have a good Thanksgiving? Oh, let me tell you. I OD'd on turkey and dressing. Did you really? Yeah. Well, well they say you are what you eat, but uh, I didn't. Well, there's a lot of truth to that. <laughs> I feel more like a turkey today than I did a few days ago. Uh, I do, too. I'm going to sprout feathers here in, a, in a, here in just a second. Let's take a look at our current conditions this morning in Oklahoma City. We're above freezing. Most all the temperatures around Oklahoma this morning are above freezing. 36 degrees right now. Humidity is 85%. The pressure is 30.52. It's falling. We've got a fair sky and a south wind at 9. The forecast for Oklahoma today, mostly fair and warm. South winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Afternoon highs today, much like yesterday. It'll be pretty warm for November. Highs in the 50s. Lows in the 30s, or it should be near 40. That should be near 40. 58 here in Oklahoma City, and 40 for tomorrow. Morning. Is uh, one of the bear winners, and we want to congratulate her. And this bear's been calling your name all morning, Esther Lee. Oh, bless his heart. <laughs> it's uh, great to have you here on a Friday, and I guess you had a terrific Thanksgiving. We sure did. Well, good deal. From Weatherford originally, uh -huh. you live in Oklahoma City with well, your I'm daughters. I've been with my daughters now since I've been ill. Sharon Mitchell and Diana Jones. That's right. And they brought you out this they morning. Sure did. Well, we hope you have a th happy Thanksgiving. Well, Enjoy the bear. I sure will. And, and we, I think we, a lot of you boys. Well, we want to read uh, read your poem one of these days on the air, okay? Okay. You do All right. That. Okay. Thank you, Esther Lee. Thank you, you guys go out and make it a great weekend. Channel 4 in Oklahoma City. It's 5 o'clock. Do you know where this child is?
From Oklahoma City, Jane Giroux, Jerry Adams, Jim Williams, Bob Berry. This is News 4 Oklahoma. Good evening, everybody. Oklahoma City Police have now identified the victim in an early morning in Florida, at West Palm Beach anyway. Out and a little warning for OU OSU fans. At 5.30. Have a nice weekend. This is the biggest selling day of the year. And as our business reporter, Kurt Autry, tells us, today has not been a big disappointment at all. Kurt? This is Channel 4 in Oklahoma City. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where this child is? From Oklahoma City, Linda Cavanaugh, Jerry Adams, Jim Williams, Bob Berry. This is News 4 Oklahoma. Hello, everybody. I'm Jerry Adams. Linda Cavanaugh is off this evening. Investigator right, Dan. You better. Dan Slocum reporting live from Confetti's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Jim Williams, uh, as exuberant as Dan says, take an umbrella to the game tomorrow. And up next, Kevin Ogle's News for Extra.